Welcome back, gamers. My name's Senpai Kira, and you are watching the final episode of our Fatal Frame. And uh, here we are, the final night. Okay, so, uh, we're here in this, uh, room again. I remember this is where we got the key from last time, and I know no, I have no idea how I got here. Some invisible force seems to be holding it. So many of these cabinets that I can't open for some reason. Some kind of old code of sheet music on the desk. I pick up the coda sheet. All right. I don't suppose I'm gonna play the coda, right? Invisible force seems to be holding it. Oh goodness. Ah, so I am gonna play the coda. So that's how we open it. It appears that we need to play the Kodo first. And uh, there's some kind of small staircase. With a small door. <clears throat> uh, Alright. And looks like we got here some people ah oh, come on I mean how are you gonna fight this thing up here alright so he's somewhere here Show yourself! It's one of those weak ass monsters or a ghost. Guess that's the end of him. And, uh, we need about 5,000 points. Yeah, we need some 5,000 points to be able to finally max out our uh, max value upgrade. There's something here. Another peephole. Whoever that ghost is, I don't really know. <clears throat> I don't suppose it's possible for you to fall off this place. And again, we're collecting all the films we can. And another of that zero-type film. 
And uh, we got 24 shots of that thing. And below is the strangled monk rope thing. There's probably something here. Is there something here? Yes, sir. Stone mirror, but I already have one. But I'll remember there's one right here. Another small door. How do I even get here? Or go inside? I'm not so sure how. There you go. <clears throat> Curious Diary. The best read. Today is the day I get to walk outside. I was walking in the mansion's atrium when suddenly he'd appeared from out of the guest room. It's the first time I've talked to an outsider since I came here. It was so much fun. He came to see me. He let me out of the room and we went outside. He taught me the names of all the flowers. Everything about this is so new to me. My face got hot again today, but I didn't want to hide this time. Yeah, it looks like Kiri's really liking this guest, whoever he is. Probably seen... Okay, let's read this. He came to see me again today. The chief priest said we mustn't go out into the garden. So we just stayed in the room and talked. He told me so many interesting things about the outside world. I feel so happy when I'm with him. So very, very happy. I walk in the garden with him today. How beautiful the cherry blossoms are. He taught me so much since we've met. I never even feel lonely anymore. Definitely Kiri has a thing for this guy. This piece of holy mirror. And that's our fort. Mirror and uh, Kiri's hair, uh, hairpin. This guy looks like Mafuyu. These stupid rituals are making lots of violent ghosts. They better stop this. Kiri and Mafuyu. No, it's not him. Maybe it's the man she loved when she was alive. But definitely looks like Mafuyu. Another diary. Kiri's diary. Strangling ritual will be held soon. The master and the priests are performing their ablutions. And it looks like the whole family has gathered here at the mansion for the ritual. The mansion is usually so lonely, but for today, anyway, it's bustling with life. One of the priests was staring at me today. He looks so sad. I'm the rope shrine maiden. 
I have a very important obligation to fulfill. But how can I perform my duty as the Shrine Maiden now, feeling the way I do, now that I've found out the true joy of living, and now that I've gone and gotten the poor man involved? Alright. There's an old diary. More of these diaries. While I was looking out the window today, I saw somebody walking in the garden. He didn't notice me. He was just walking around leisurely, gazing at the trees and hills. I saw him again today, walking in the garden. He saw me once, too, and waved to me. I don't know why, but my face got hot, and I ducked out of sight. I went to tell the chief priest about it. He was terribly surprised. He told me I wasn't to look out the window again for a while. Alright, so I guess that's all the diaries here he's keeping here. Okay. So... We best get out of here. Alright. I still have no leads. What is this little girl all about? Oh, it's Kiri again. I guess I need to escape her. Just keep on escaping her, I guess. There's no way of fighting her. No, sir. Alright, looks like she's gone. My only task is to go back to that well. And hopefully Kiri's not there anymore. Sacred water. Spirit stone. Uh, we're still under leveled. Uh, hopefully we get... We get enough points before... We do our final battle. Alright, so we still got some stone mirror to back us up. is out here. What? 
There's actually two of them. These guys are having a blast killing me. Ah, uh, show no mercy. Damn it, these ghosts. They are so wasting my medicine. So there's three of them, huh? So annoying. There's just too many of them. I think these are just ordinary ghosts, but they sure are wasting my film. I had that urge to kill all of them because I'll be needing all. I mean, I'll be needing all of those, uh, what do you call that? All those points to upgrade my camera. And uh, we're still short by 500 points. A Fuyu's note. Dear Miku, I know it's weird, but I see you sometimes here in the mansion. I run after you, but I always end up losing sight of you. There must be some kind of warp in time here now. We'll probably never be able to find each other. Were you worried about me? Is that why you came? I hope you get this note. I need you to help me. The force behind the curse of the Himuro Mansion is a woman named Kiri. She was sacrificed in a ritual, and her sad spirit was exposed to the malice that spilled out of hell when the calamity happened. Now she's a miserable creature that taints everything she comes into contact with. Apparently, I reminded her of the man she was in love with. I somehow just knew that when she touched me. I plan on going to see her now. If I don't, this mansion will keep right on claiming victims. Kiri laments her ill-fated life, but at the same time, she also regrets not having been able to fulfill her duty as the Shrine Maiden. I saw the image of Kiri as a child. She was looking for somebody to help her, to help her other tortured self. Kiri is like a person divided in two. Miku, I want you to help Kiri if you can. You have to seal off the hell gate with the holy mirror. All right, so it looks like we got the four pieces of the holy mirror. Uh, I'm not so sure.
Guess I'm gonna fight something in this room. Am I gonna fight these four guys? Hopefully not. So I was using a red film. No wonder it packed a punch. She might have pulled the ropes. So there's nowhere for me to go except here. Some herbal medicine right there. You best stay down, ghost. I got a feeling I have enough points now. Alright. Let's bust up that max value. Alright. There's more stuff here lying around. Sacred water. A fool notes. Damn it, Mafuyu! I've been thinking about the camera mom left us. I know it was mom's, and she left it to us when she died. But it used to belong to Grandma Mikoto. They say it was the only thing Grandma brought with her when she was adopted by the Hinasaki family. In some documents I found here in the mansion, there were notes about a little girl named Mikoto. The same name as her grandmother. Finding a camera with an uncanny power. And then I found out that Mikoto's mother, the folklore's wife, died the very same way mom died. Mom was no match for the ghostly power of the camera. It drove her mad and she had to leave this world. Now, if that camera is the same one Mikoto's mother had, anyway, I don't know all the specifics. But I'm pretty sure that the camera is strongly connected to the curse on this mansion. Fuyu's always making us read long stuff. But at least we're able to glue things together thanks to him.
This is what they're talking about. The ritual failed. Sure killed everybody. No, not you again. I hope I don't need to deal with him. So let's place all those uh, mirrors. really sure if we can actually damage her just yet we'll find out or I think I need to find that uh, mirror what they're saying Yeah, I think we're kind of getting her damaged for some reason. I think it's the best time to use our zero type film. That's really nasty damage right there. the end of her <laughs> cameras busted Get the other camera. It's the Retar last piece of the mirror. A piece of the holy mirror inside a broken camera. Who would have ever thought? Alright, so let's just place that mirror right there. So I'll leave you guys with this and I'll be back in the end of the video. Don't forget.
My duty is to keep this gate closed. Kyrie was guiding me, I could hear her screaming. Screaming for help. As the rope shrine maiden, she was destined to seal the gate. Yet she also wanted to be with the one she loved. But she couldn't have both, and was being torn apart by those two feelings, which resulted in the calamity. Her spirit was touched by the malice, and she became a creature that wanted to make others suffer as she had. Now free of the malice, she is about to fulfill her duty as the Rope Shrine Maiden. Her soul must remain here, keeping this gate sealed off for all eternity. All alone. Endless pain. As long as she is free of pain. As long as she is not left hopeless. I wish to be by her side. Miku. Mafuyu. Their souls are all going back to where they belong. Miku. I now realize why I was brought here. And I will accept this destiny of mine. Miku. Thank you for everything. Ever since that day, I stopped seeing things that other people don't see. And there you have it, we got rank B. <laughs> it's not actually so bad, uh, but I think uh, we probably had a rank A or a better one. If we finished it around 2 hours and... 30 minutes which is not so impossible uh yeah and uh, we've unlocked the battle mode now and i think it's best to save all 
Alright, so I guess I'll save our slot too. Alright, so that's it for our Fail Frame series. And um, we're going to be doing Fail Frame 2 on our next series. And uh, hopefully that's sometime soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on Fatal Frame 2. Peace out.